then I, I'll start. I'll, I'll chair. Okay. All right. Uh, call the meeting in order. We'll do a roll call. Uh, Alder Salazar. You present. Present. <laughs> Alder Heidemann. Here. Alder Ackley. Here. Alder Decker is here. We will start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, into the world, liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll go to, uh, I think we can skip introductions, everyone knows everyone here, so we'll go to uh, approval of minutes from June 7th, 2023. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion on those minutes? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. They are approved. Uh, item number six, resolution number 19-23-24-6-19-23, your resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the clinical affiliation agreement between the city of Sheboygan and Lakeshore Technical College with regard to providing students with supervised clinical experiences at city of Sheboygan Fire Department clinical education sites. Chief. Okay, thank you, Chair. Um, so this is a, we've had this agreement uh, for years and years since we've really done the paramedics uh, system and allowed students to ride with us. Uh, Lake Shore uh, just last year, towards the end of the year, was starting to redo their. They haven't updated their contract, so okay. they did, and they just asked all their uh, affiliates uh, partnership. Uh, departments to sign the contract again. So that's what you have before you. It just allows students to ride with us since um, we have three frontline ambulances. We can, in three shifts, we can basically host three, nine total individuals, but usually it's about three to six that ride with us and get clinical experience. Get some real life experience. Yep, exactly. Ride on the ambulance. And then hopefully some of them will want to apply with us. Okay. Yeah. They're basically hands off. They're just, just observing. No, no they, um, Oh, okay. So as they go to school, for example, if they pass their uh, IV starting class sure. session, okay. they will. Yeah, they have to. They oh, got to. Okay. So, yep. Okay. But it's under supervision by okay. our medics. There's nothing that they don't do that is outside their scope, okay. and they're always supervised. They're never alone in the back of the ambulance with any patient or anything. It's always with one of our medics. Okay. And yeah. then you, your, your guys actually grade them then too. Oh yeah, we okay. yeah, and we've not passed some. Okay. Because they have not been doing or keep it up where they should be. Um, so yeah, we evaluate that the medics do evaluate sure. them, send it to Lakeshore, and then if they're not, um, for lack of a better phrase, if they're not cutting the mustard, <laughs> they'll be let go or not asked to come back. Okay. So yeah. Any other any questions? No, you, you you asked my question. I was oh. wondering if it was a graded process, <laughs> and I, I would hope that this would just not be a ride along for fun. But they're actually a learning experience, and it would go against what their actual grade is. Because if we're going to hire them, we want to make sure we get the best of the best. No, oh, absolutely. So um, I, I can't speak on how LTC grades them for their grade grade. However, we evaluate them, and if they are not performing, so if an individual struggles with IVs, never gets the IVs, can never start one for a, a few weeks, months, or however long they ride with us. We will report that back to them and then they may not complete the ride in a long time because they're not they're falling behind mm -hmm. so yeah we we do uh, critique them um if they're local they we encourage them to apply with us or we encourage them to apply anywhere to be in, in the fire service so yeah do they work a full shift then with you it's like a full 24 hour or uh, do just it depends on yeah it depends on the student and depends on um what critical skills they need uh, typically, it's 10 o'clock at night, but yes, we have occasionally let them. If, if you were one of our students and you didn't, you were so far behind on time, uh, we would have you ride 24 hours because you might get more calls at night as well. Anyone else questions? Is that good? It's looking for a motion then. Motion to approve. Second. Motion made and second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay. Your support. Uh, number seven, general ordinance number nine 2324 an ordinance amending section 3827 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code 
1997 code section 1, 1-28 so as to delete certain fees. So yeah, basically what's happening is we're deleting a couple of fees, a uh, commitment processing fee and a warrant pickup fee. Uh, the first one was favored by the municipal judge and there really isn't a need for the fee because we don't actually, the court is not actually issuing commitments. Uh, the second fee was actually not, I mean, the, the cost of administering it was more than the money was coming in. So, um, so they're eliminating those fees and uh, that was a request. Uh, we're good to go on it. Okay. Move to approve. Okay. Second. Mr. Mate, the second. Then any other discussion on it? All in favor? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. That is approved. Thank you. Okay. Then we guess we go to number eight, beverage operators license renew application number eight zero three seven Haley E. Dietrich hearing regarding non renewal of license. So we had an opportunity to meet with Ms. Diedrich on Monday. And so just to give you a little bit of background, uh, we, we meet as a staff on the Monday before these meetings. So on the Monday before the previous LHPS meeting, she'd been called in, uh, call those people in to talk to them and sort of get a sense of where they are and, and, and whether we need to, we, that helps us make a determination as to what to recommend to the clerk to do. Now, when she came in the first time, she actually had an outstanding warrant. So when she came in, she was arrested. Um, and uh, because of the pending criminal charge, um, when we gave her her Fifth Amendment rights, she chose not to speak to us, which was appropriate. Um, we had no choice at that time, but to then issue her a, a non-renewal notice to, so as to have a hearing here today. Uh, but she did come back in the day before yesterday. Uh, and, and once we had the meeting with, with her, uh, you know, police, was rep police were represented as was the clerk's office. We determined that, we, that, uh, that she should be issued the license. So she has actually been issued the license with a warning um, and there's no further need for the hearing. So we can just move on to the next item. Oh, you, you, I guess you could say approve the license, even though it's it's been granted. Oh, so I move to approve the license per second. staff recommendation. Second. Uh, Motion second, and any other discussion on it? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. Okay. RO number nine, RO number 21, 23, 24, 6, 19, 23 by city clerk submitting various license applications. We're recommending granting all the licenses on the RO. We note that any premises changes that are using public property are contingent on obtaining the required street festival permit, which I think in this case they all have. I move to approve all the applications per second. Second. Motion seconded. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Fair vote. Aye. That is approved. Number 10, next meeting date will be July 12th, 2023. And seeing as we have lost the agenda, looking for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 